Don't eat meat. It's one way to save money. And eating vegan is going to save you money? It's going to save the animals. That's true, but I don't think it's going to save you money when they're charging you six wings for $18. That is way crazy. Yeah. Come on. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And this is Grout. And you're watching... Vegan to Sam. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some chicken wings and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes. Every Sunday. Let's get into it. That was my middle voice. Let's not damage your vocal cords. Copy that. Where are we at today? Today we are at Leopold's Tavern, which recently opened up in Vancouver, but they have locations all across Western Canada. It's located between Granville Street and West Broadway, which is a very large intersection. I knew it was going to be kind of a pub slash bar vibe, but when I looked inside, oh my gosh, it was like overwhelming with how they decorated the interior. There are sports posters and pictures and also like music band posters all over Movies the place. as well. Yeah, it's like not one single square inch of this place is empty. It's like so much stuff just plastered all over. They have a decent amount of seats. They have a patio, but it was raining and it's getting cold outside. So no one was sitting out at the patio and they have quite a few seats inside, like high tables, it's kind of like a bar. It is a bar, it's a tavern. So let's talk about food. What did we get? Leopold's Tavern isn't vegetarian or vegan, but they do have clearly marked vegan items with the symbol PB for plant-based. I really wanted to try their wings because in addition to cauliflower wings, they have the wings that are in the drumstick version with the little stick inside, which are my favorite kind of wings. And I really like buffalo wings in general. So definitely got an order of the hot wings. You can choose your flavor of sauce They'll indicate which ones are vegan and the hot ones are vegan. For my meal, I got the Kickin' Chicken Burger, which is a chicken burger, and you can choose your side of fries, salad, or soup. I didn't even ask what the soup was. I didn't bother. Mm -hmm. I just got a side of fries to be safe. I got the Black Bean Baja Burger, and for the sides, I got the vegan poutine. You upgraded to the side. I upgraded it, yeah, sorry, my bad correcting police over here and you added cheese yeah it doesn't come with cheese what the hell it's not a cheeseburger well i mean chicken burger comes with cheese that's weird but the burger doesn't come with cheese it's not a cheeseburger that's weird so what should we start with the hot wings i love these style of wings these are my favorite wings they could be a lot spicier for hot it really wasn't spicy enough it could be more saucy now the thing is i really wanted to try the wings but they are so expensive you get six pieces of drumsticks and it costs 18 dollars that's three dollars a drumstick i feel like that's kind of ridiculous to pay for that it also came with a side of a ranch dressing which i got i thought it was delicious as well you're right, it could have been saucier, it could have been spicier, but it was very flavorful. I know the portion of the meat ones are way bigger, but I thought it was cool that they kept it the same price. So really, if they wanted to be cooler, they should give me equal number of wings as they did for the meat people. It's way more expensive though, you know it is. Meat's really expensive nowadays. Is it? I think so, that's what I hear from people. Okay, shall we? Yes. One, two, two three. Oh, give it a four because it was so expensive. 
I was without being a five. But I can't fault it because it was so delicious and I would eat more and more. They have a special on Wednesdays where it's half price all wings. Go then. then you I tried, could... but the lineup was so big. Well, because everyone wants wing Wednesdays. They know what a good deal it is. If that were the case, I'd get a whole order all to myself. Let's talk about the kicking chicken burger. This kicking chicken burger was odd. I was expecting a chicken patty, like a round chicken patty. But instead, it was like individual little strips of chicken tenders put into a hamburger bun with lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, some hot sauce. It was so messy to eat. But aside from that, I just thought it was so weird. You couldn't even give me like a regular round chicken burger. Why not? I never had a chicken tender burger before. Why did they do that? I didn't understand. What did you think? I 120,000% agree. I thought that was really odd, especially since Light Life makes an amazing chicken patty. That amazing, as good as any chicken patty I've ever had. And it was odd that they went with, what is it, is it Gardein? I think or, so. or it, could, it could even be Light Life actually, I don't know. Yeah, but just chicken yeah. tender is yeah. like strips of chicken. Yeah, messy, it fell apart, disappointing. It tasted good, don't get me wrong, but I was expecting a chicken burger. Should we talk about the fries? Sure. It was thin cut fries and it looked like it was seasoned a little bit with parsley. However, I don't think there was any salt on there. It wasn't very uh, flavorful at all. I should have put some ketchup or vinegar or something, but I was just too lazy to ask because it was very busy. It would have been a little bit hard, I think, tracking down some vinegar. I didn't mind the fries. I thought they were pretty good fairly seasoned the parsley was good on them i tried them with my ranch sauce tasted decent one mm -hmm. two three i give it a four i give it a three i give it a three that was not a chicken burger i'm sorry it was their version of a chicken burger but i was disappointed i mean i still give it a four because i thought it tasted good but if it were a round patty chicken burger, I would have given it better. Black bean Baja burger. Do you want to know what we thought? But first, you gotta subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Because if you do, oh my God, it would be awful. What did you think of your black bean Baja burger? I actually really liked it. I liked the bread. I liked the patty, house-made patty, flavorful. The cheese was really good. It was wild life. Tasted pretty decent. No. Why are we using a black bean burger? Can we just use Beyond or Impossible? They had it on their menu when they first opened in Vancouver. And when we went, they had updated their menu already and took it off. Why? That would have been so much better. I don't like beans. That black bean burger texture is so mushy. I didn't like it and I wouldn't order it. When the place has their own house patty, I like to try it because a lot of the times it's good. And this time it was good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But if you don't like beans? Well, if you don't like beans, then you wouldn't like it, obviously. One, mm, two, two, three. Le poutine. What did you think? I wanted to try their vegan poutine to see what it looked like. What? What it looked like? What are you eating with your eyes? Yeah. Part of eating is with your eyes. You know that. Sure, sure. I mean, I mean, I mean, visual is important. Yeah. But you wanted to try just to see what it looks like? Yeah. Okay, go on. And it wasn't that impressive. It was the fries with some vegan gravy. And I think it's Vile Life Shreds. Now, you know, there are vegan cheese curds nowadays. That would have been amazing. That's what I was curious to see what kind of cheese they would use. But it was just a little bit of shreds on top i don't even think the cheese was melted that well it wasn't at all that was gonna be my complaint as well it was just lying on top not not even not nowhere near melted the gravy was the best part i would have been happier if it was just gravy on the fries more gravy though sure sure but how hard is it to melt cheese well that's the thing I feel like when we go to non-vegan places, they're not sure how to melt vegan cheese. I think, 
probably it takes a little bit longer or maybe at a high temperature because it doesn't mm -hmm. melt the same as cheese. Right. One, One two, two, three. How did you give it even worse than I did when I don't even like violet? To be honest. TBH? I don't really like vile lives. <laughs> what I did was picked around the cheese and yeah. just basically ate the fries and the gravy. So mm. that was good. Mm. I did try some of the cheese so mm. I could record back, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. With that being said, Wild Life, if you want to sponsor us, go for it. I get rid of it in a second. So don't don't make your judgment based on this one over here. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try that yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Hey Diana, would you go back to Leopold's Tavern and dine again? I would, especially if it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, because those are days they have specials. Monday is Appy Day, where they have a whole list of Appies that are on special. Tuesdays are Taco and Tequila Tuesdays, where those things are on special. On Wednesday, it's the most important day where wings are half price. And like I said, I'd order six wings all to myself and not a share. But I also suspect that those days are the busiest. So if you're going there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you may have to wait in line. But what if they watch this like seven months from now and that's not the case? I doubt it. Who wouldn't want wings? What I'm saying is they might not have those deals. Six months. Oh, what feels what they have? Don't replace Wing Wednesdays. <laughs> Amir, would you go back and dine again at Leopold's Tavern? I think I would. The food was good, the experience was good, and maybe next time I have some drinks, drinky drinks, some scotchy scotch, some beery beer. Yeah, I think it's more of a beer place than God. Every place, the Scotch place. Check out this burger place that we tried in Montreal. Housemade patty, one of the best burgers I've ever had. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.